Congratulations, you have gotten to the part of the build where we're going to wire up the whole X axis, the whole X assembly. This is going to be one long video because we believe it's just easier to follow and convey this kind of information and how the wires should behave. So this is what you're going to need. You need the pre-assembled X assembly with the motor, the belt, the left and the right fan, the Z probe, and these two little standoffs. Then you're going to need your pre-assembled extruder with the hot end ideally, even though you can sort of do it without it, but it's gonna be easier and more, more realistic if you first assemble your extruder. And then you need the X wires. Yours are still in a little pack, I'm sure. Leave them there, you'll take them one by one. I already have them unpacked, don't worry about that. First thing we're going to do is to insert your extruder. And then we're going to look at all the components and just connect them one by one, seeing which one actually needs a wire. This may be the first time you're inserting your extruder into your X carriage. The only thing you really need to be careful about is that the hot end wire needs to go underneath, underneath the X carriage. Then the extruder sits right here and you're gonna tighten it in place with the quick release lever on top. There we go. Bottom, front, top. All right, the extruder is in. And now we're gonna go component by component. So what's here? Well, the hot end. So let's get the hot end wire. There it is. And the hot end wire is essentially the heat block and the thermistor wire together. Let's connect it right here. What's next? The Z probe. There it is. The Z probe or Z end stop or Z stop wire is actually coupled together with the hot end fan wire. That's right here, the tiny little shoot off. So let's connect them. We have the Z probe. And I'm going to go forward here and connect the hot end fan. What else do we have? The left and the right fans. The filament fans. There we go. One wire goes to both. The extremity of the wire is actually going to connect to the left one, like so, and the other one to the right fan. Ta-da! Is there anything else? No, that's all. That's all the wires that are in this part of the assembly. We still have a few more wires to go, and those are actually down here. First is the X end stop. That one connects with two tiny M2 screws. One screw and the second. Don't over tighten these, just regular, regular tight. And you can verify that the extruder actually hits the end stop. Nice. The, the sharp sticks among you by now figured out that I forgot one component in the extruder assembly and that's the motor, the E motor. You got the E motor wire. And the last component is the X motor down here. There is my X motor wire. Now the X motor wire passes through the acrylic pieces into the back. Now that we have all the components connected, we need to organize the wires. And this is absolutely essential. Wire organization is the key to the longevity of your jelly box. If the wires are not properly organized and designed with the right strain relief, they will just break and your printer will stop working much, much sooner and will need maintenance and repair much more often. We want to separate the motion of the wires and the X carriage from any end point. We'll start with the X motor. 
there's one zip tie that will hold the X motor wire right here. One thing that is very important here is the shape of the wiring. You want the X motor wire to go up in a little loop and then catch it with the zip tie and then it goes through. You don't want it to go straight down. You want there always to be slack and relief around the connectors so that nothing is pulling on them. Good. And let's clip the zip tie. The next wire in line is the X end stop. We'll attach it with one zip tie right behind the actual switch. Now I am passing all these zip ties from the back so that the head ends up on the back side. That's just my sort of aesthetic choice. You can definitely do it from the other side as well. And it's a little easier, but I find it more aesthetically pleasing when it's like so. There we go. X and stop. Now we can move back to the actual extruder assembly. I'm gonna turn around. It's gonna be easier for me to work in this direction and hopefully easy for you to see as well. Let's start by putting all the wires up. That means all the end on the all the long ends. Let's put them up. That's where they're gonna go eventually to connect into our little standoff. We're gonna start with the filament fan wires. The way they're connected right now, I actually can't put them where I need to. I'm prevented by other wires. So I will briefly disconnect it as I need to and connect the wires back underneath any other wire that may be in my way. Now there is just one zip tie on the bottom left corner up here and it holds in place the long end of the wire as it goes up, just like so. The next wire is possibly the strangest because there's this special loop for strain relief. Up here there's place for one zip tie. The hot end fan wire is going into a slot on the side of the X carriage. And then you make a little loop up here for strain relief, as we have discussed repeatedly in the few past minutes. And you're gonna catch that underneath the zip tie together with the zipper wire and together with the filament fan wire. Like so. The hot end wire just goes right up. It doesn't attach anywhere here so that we can actually remove the extruder with the hot end. We're going to attach all these wires into a bundle up here onto the standoff. One thing that's absolutely essential and that you need to understand is that no wires should ever be pulled, ever. And so you need to give them space. You need to give them nice little curve so that uh, they can move about as the X carriage moves. If they're like this, you're pulling on the connectors, you're breaking the wires, you want nice, gentle curve. Let's put these wires aside for now. It's time to join in the wires from the right side. They will go underneath the standoff and then join in with all the wires from the right side, from the left side, from the extruder. And they will go all into one bundle. Now, before you tighten anything, give all wires their proper slack. Move the X carriage all the way to the left as much as you can. And now straighten this up, make it a little loose. I'd like that, that would be enough. And make sure that the wires from the X end stop and the X motor have slack, that there's also a nice gentle curve here, no pulling. 
One more thing you want to make sure before you tighten the bundle up here is that the X motor and the X end stop wires are not interfering with the zip tie here. They should both be on the top, like so, facing you. That's nice. Now you can tighten that bundle. And it's a good idea to have a look how the wires are folding at this point. That's good. And the final touch, some protective, transparent, or other colors, if you fancy other colors, spiral wrap. We start wrapping the wires right behind the first standoff. And we're going to continue wrapping all the way as far as we can. I will probably speed this part up. You don't want to make this too tight. As you're wrapping, make sure there's tiny gaps in between the wraps. Otherwise, the wrap would interfere with the folding. And now you're going to the second zip tie. Make sure you get it with the bundle underneath the spiral wrap. And I went a bit too far. There we go, we want tiny gaps. And now we want to make a big gap for these wires to enter the bundle. And we'll continue on the other side, like so. And just continue until, until the end of the spiral wrap. There we go. Tiny gaps all around. The final touch, one little zip tie right next to the first end uh, standoff and one right next to the second standoff. Now make sure that you're not putting the zip tie in such a way that it would put undue strain on these two wires. Worst comes to worst, put it underneath these two. There we go. Congratulations on wiring up your X-axis. This is arguably some of the more complicated part of the build. Many people have respect from wires. And now, keep your respect, but you don't have to be afraid of them. Check that the wires are folding nicely. Make sure that you hit the end stop when you get to the end. You can hear that click. That's nice, that's gonna last a long time. 